Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a Canon R6 tip. Specifically, you just got your camera, what should you do? Which is getting it out of the box, making sure that you have everything and updating the firmware. Uh, in my case, I got the Canon kit. So this is the body of the R6 plus a 24-105 uh, lens. And what I didn't know and I found out is you actually have to update the firmware, not only of the body, but also of the lens. I'd never updated a lens firmware before. Uh, so this is also new to me. Uh, so let's just start with the unboxing. You should have the Canon R6 body. So congratulations on that one. It is an amazing piece of kit. You should get the 24-105 uh, kit lens that came with it, a strap, the LPE6NH battery, and this is a special one because it allows you to have the fast shooting mode, uh, a green icon that will appear on your camera, but also it allows you to charge it in the camera with only a USB-C cable. You get the charger and a manual. I promise it will be quick. Let's get on to updating the firmware. So make sure you mount the lens onto your Canon R6. Also put a fully charged battery into your camera and insert an SD card into your camera. The firmware is pretty light, only 50 megabytes, so any size card will do. My only advice is to use a card that you would trust. When you first boot up the camera, you have to set the date, the time, and the zone that you're in. Our first step is to format the SD card in the camera. Go right on the menus until you reach the wrench, and then on the first sub-menu, go down to Format Card. Press on whatever card slot you put the SD card in, and I like to do low level format. It ensures that everything is erased. Press OK and let it format. Turn off the camera and remove the SD card. Insert it into your Mac. Now we're going to go to the Canon webpage and we're going to download two firmwares. One is the firmware from the R6, which we download, and when we open the file, we're going to have a folder with PDFs, with instructions, and this firmware file. Copy that to the SD card. We're also going to go to Canon's firmware page for the lens. We're going to download the file, open it, and it has also a folder with PDFs to explain how to install it, and a firmware file. Copy that firmware file to your SD card. Eject the SD card and put it back into your Canon R6. Turn on the camera, go to the menu, go all the way to the right until you reach the wrench and go to the fifth submenu. Go down to firmware where you should see the version of the firmware that you have currently. Enter that menu and it shows you the version of the firmware for the camera and for the lens. Click on the camera. It will tell you the current firmware version and ask if you want to update. Press OK. Whoa, 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 stop the footage right there. Dude, what happened? It's blurry. I know, it, it, it's very blurry. Uh, look, I'm sorry, it's a one-man gig shooting this thing and I had the camera in my hands. I was trying to shoot top down. I was nervous with the firmware, didn't want to break my Canon. I was doing it for the very first time. Uh, so like, I didn't see that the focus was off, but can't you just like re-record it? No. And that's actually a very good tip for the people at home because, uh, Canon doesn't let you downgrade the firmware. So once you've upgraded it, you're done. You can't go back. So I couldn't shoot this, um, again, I couldn't just downgrade and then upgrade it again. So once it's done, it's done. So tell me, how do we fix this for the viewers now? I have an idea. What if... You do a voiceover and I put subtitles in exactly what we would have seen on the screen. Okay, okay, we'll do voiceover and subtitles. Okay, good, good, good solve. Okay, roll the tape, roll the tape. It will tell you the current firmware version and ask if you want to update. Press OK. So in this screen, you go into the firmware update program and it will show the file name of the firmware that you're going to update with. If that is the file name you copy to the SD card, press the set button. On this screen, it will ask you if you really want to update the firmware and show you which is your previous firmware version and the one you're updating to. Press OK. So here I sped up the footage. 
It's just because I saw a lot of comments on the internet about people giving up on the firmware update. It takes quite a long time. In my case, it took exactly five minutes and 32 seconds to update. So don't give up because it does take a while. Once it's updated, it says update is complete and it shows the version that you've now updated to. Press OK. Now that we've updated the body, we're going to update the firmware of the lens. Go again into the menu, navigate to the wrench, to the submenu 5, and go down to firmware. It should show the new version of your camera's firmware. Press on it and it will show you the camera firmware and the lens. Click on the lens. Press on the lens. It will say the current firmware version and ask if you want to update. Say OK. It will show you the file name that you should have copied into the SD card. Press on it and it will start the update. Again, I've sped this up just for you to see that it took, in my case, 3 minutes and 23 seconds. So again, be patient because it will get there. And that's it. We've updated the firmware of the body and of the lens. Uh, so now we're just ready to go with our Canon R6. I hope you guys like that tip. There's going to be plenty more coming here on the channel. So if you find this useful, uh, feel free to subscribe. I think it appears there somewhere. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.